My name's Chandra. Now, the story with that is my mama named me after herself and my daddy. Her name was Sandra, and I guess they called him Sherwood. My sister, her name's Kendra. Her daddy was Kevin. I was named for my grandma, Janice, who was an inspiration to our whole family. She and my grandpa, Gabe, started a restaurant using money that she had saved up from baking cakes and doing people's ironing. Everybody in our family worked at that restaurant at some point. Um, my father has always expected my brothers and me to follow his parents' example, uh, to be hardworking people. We had to make good grades, we had to be there for each other, and we had to know the value of things. If I wanted a certain pair of jeans or to go on a school trip, I had to work for it. My boy Spencer is a really good kid. Does a lot better in school than his mama did, I can say that. He must get his brains from his daddy. But he don't see his daddy much. But Spencer takes it all in stride, you know. He is his grandmama's boy. And that don't bother me, because my old granny, she had so many of us grandchildren running around, she didn't even know all of our names. Funny. I married my husband, David, uh, right after I finished at Tech. He was in computer science. Uh, I met him when I took some word processing classes for my administrative assistance degree. Uh, he landed a job right away. We bought a house. Um, we wanted to have kids while we were still young. So I worked for a year and then had my son. Uh, a few years later, we had a little girl. Since David always had a good job, uh, I was able to stay at home with them. We just got divorced though, David and me. So now I have to work. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, been away from the work world a long time. Everything has changed so much. Well, wherein I lived is more like it. I was living with Mama when I hooked up with Spencer's daddy. Then I got pregnant, left school, and lived with him and his family. After Spence Sr. and I broke up, I lived with Mama. Well, we lived with Mama, and her husband wasn't much for having us there. So, me and little Spence moved in with my boyfriend at the time, Bobby. He was a good guy, but he did not like kids. Spence and me, lived pretty much out of my van and went from this friend's house to that one's. Me working whenever, wherever. Right now, it is all good. I'm cashiering down at the new grocery store and me and Joe are splitting rent on this place. Yeah, Joe, he's a funny guy, a regular comedian. He, uh, we have a good time and, well, Spence and he get along real good. Anyway, I applied for office jobs everywhere I could think of. Um, nothing came through, so I got a job at the new grocery store. It's not what I want, but I need the money. <laughs> we lost the house in the divorce. Uh, the kids and I were lucky to get some help with renting this place, though I have to say that was a blow to my pride. Um, we're living close to my mom and dad, and they have been a godsend but I have to stand on my own feet. I know that. So, I'm saving money where I can, and I'm looking at going back to school. We're struggling right now. Um, but I've got some big dreams for my kids, and I've got some dreams for myself, too. I can see myself working as a paralegal. You want to know my dream for the future? <laughs> Honey, it is to go to the Dixie Stampede and the Dolly Parton Theater at Myrtle Beach. Joe said it'll knock your socks off. <laughs> so listen, I want to take Mama, Spencer, and Joe, go down there for like two or three days, live large, you know, get me some of that all-you-can-eat seafood buffet, the whole shebang. I mean, why not go have some fun with the people who've been so good to me? It'd be like the cherry on top. <laughs>